Hi everyone. Screen mirroring means projecting the small screen of your phone onto the large screen of a TV. It can be extremely easy or a tech nightmare. It just depends on your particular phone and TV models. But I do have a solution for you that works with any phone or TV. This is the Xiaomi Mi TV Stick, a little device that makes any phone mirror onto any TV regardless of brand or age. And it's not just about mirroring, it opens up tons of other streaming possibilities. If you have a Samsung phone and a Samsung TV, great. You can mirror the phone screen without any extra hardware. But it gets more tricky when you mix brands. That same Samsung TV is completely invisible to a Google Pixel phone, and all the other TVs in my house are invisible to the Samsung phone. I've tried countless apps to fix these broken connections. None of them work really well, and I wouldn't recommend any of them. This is where the Mi TV stick really shines. No matter if your TV is old or brand new, your phone can be Android or iPhone, it doesn't matter. This thing just works. The new Google TV streamer works too, but it's almost twice the price, and those other Android TV boxes are usually full of spyware, which is an open invitation to thieves and hackers. The Mi TV stick is free of spyware and weird add-ons, and it's officially licensed by Google, but it does give you the option of not signing into a Google account if you prefer not to. You'll still be able to screen mirror any Android phone, but of course the TV stick will be much more useful if you do sign in. Before setup, you'll need two AAA batteries. That's right, batteries for the remote, not included. <laughs> to power the Mi TV stick, I recommend using an AC wall adapter, not the TV's USB port. This lets you turn your whole system on and off using the Mi TV remote control. Okay, so turn on your TV, switch to the right HDMI input, and follow the simple on-screen instructions. You can either use your phone for setup or the remote control. The phone's quicker and you don't have to enter passwords manually, but it doesn't work with every phone, so it's good to have the other option. Once the setup completes, you can project the screen of your phone onto your TV. For phones like the Samsung, find and open the pre-installed Miracast app using the Streaming Stick remote. Once it opens, you'll see two options. They'll both work, but the first one that's labeled Definition Priority is better for documents and photos. The second one, Fluency Priority, is better for videos and games. Once everything's set up, you can mirror your Android phone in two ways. The quickest is swipe down to access Quick Settings and tap Smart View on Samsung or Cast on Google Pixels. Just select the Mi TV stick, tap on Start, and just like that, your phone screen appears on the TV. The other method is to use the free Google Home app. Make sure that the Miracast app on the Mi TV stick is closed first. Open the Google Home app, then go to the Devices tab, find and tap on the Mi TV stick, tap on Cast My Screen, then tap Cast Screen, and then Start Now. And your phone screen is immediately projected on the TV. On the Google phone, Swipe down for Quick Settings. Find the Cast button and tap. Select the Mi TV stick. Choose whether to cast the whole screen or just one app. We choose Cast Entire Screen. Tap Cast Screen, and that's it. Screen mirrored. It's just as simple with the iPhone. Like many families, my wife and I agree to disagree on what's the best type of phone. I like Android, but I need to set up the house to be iPhone friendly. For an iPhone, go to the Google App Store on the Mi TV streamer and download the Air Receiver app. It's just $3. It works in the background, so the iPhone users are not even aware of it. It just works. Once Air Receiver is installed, swipe up from the bottom of the screen to access the Control Center. Tap the small button with the icon that looks like two overlapping rectangles, and then tap the Mi TV stick. Your iPhone screen appears on the TV like magic. For homes with only iPhones, Apple TVs or Roku devices with AirPlay built in are also great options. Once connected, you can display almost anything. Photos, videos, apps, in portrait or landscape. Just keep in mind some protected content may be blocked. If screen mirroring isn't working for you, 
Make sure your phone and MeTV stick are on the same Wi-Fi network. Power line adapters and remote access points often don't work for this type of connectivity, even if all the devices connect through the same router. If your phone brand is not one that I've mentioned here, make sure to, you try it with the Miracast app open and again with it closed, as different brands may or may not need it. For many people, the MeTV stick is worth having just for screen mirroring, but there are other reasons to get one. Even if you have a new smart TV, the Google App Store on the TV stick may have more options than the App Store from your TV vendor. Tidal Music is an example of an app that's not supported by Samsung or LG TVs, but Tidal does work well with the MeTV stick. If you have all the apps you want, the remote control of the MeTV stick is very versatile and draws on a huge database of device codes, so setting it up to control your TV and audio system may be your easiest option to reduce your clutter of remote controls to just a single slim and simple device. A TV stick is also an obvious solution for an older TV that won't run the latest apps. It not only allows you to get movies and YouTube, but getting live TV from TV apps instead of cable or satellite can save you a lot of money. Even if your TV is brand new and runs all your favorite apps, the operating system will be obsolete long before the screen fades. A new video streamer can always keep you up to date without paying for a whole new TV. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you buy anything from the product links in the description, it doesn't cost you any more, but a small commission helps to support this channel and is very much appreciated. Thanks for watching everyone.